Hello friends, this is second part of NodeCurd application with MongoDB database. And in this part, we will show how to insert data into MongoDB database from Node application. In previous part, we have already show you how to make cloud MongoDB database and then after. We have also discussed how to connect Node application with MongoDB database. Now in this part, we will insert new data into MongoDB database under this Node CRUD application. So let's start discussing this topic. So we have goes to Visual Studio Code Editor. And here, we have to open server.js file and under this file. We have to write app.get method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash, which is root path of our node application. And in second parameter, we have to write asynchronous callback function with request and response variable as parameter. Under this function, we have to write response.send file method, and under this method, we have to write directory name global variable plus slash user dot html file. So this code will send this html file to display output in the browser when we have open node application in browser. After this, we have to create one user dot html file. And under this file, first we have paste this code in which we have used bootstrap library. Here, we have create one button tag, with type is equal to button. And in button text, we have to write add, so when we have click on this button, then model must be pop up, for enter user data. So here, we want to make one dynamic bootstrap model for, get user data, so we have goes to javascript code part. And here, we have to write user model element variable, so we will use this variable for get model element. Next, we have to create one make model function with two parameter like title, button value, and callback variable. Under this function, we have to write HTML variable is equal to this bootstrap library model code. Now under this code, here we have to write id attribute is equal to user model and this attribute value we will use for get model element. After this, we have removed this default title and here we have to write title variable so here we can display dynamic model title. Now here, we want to make form, for get user data, so here, we have to write, form tag, with id attribute is equal to, user form. Under this, for get user name details, we have to create one text box, so here, we have to write, input type is equal to text, with name attribute is equal to name, and id attribute is equal to name. After this, forget user email address details, so we have to create another input field, so we have to write. Input type is equal to email, with name attribute is equal to email and id attribute is equal to email. Next, forget user age details, so we have to create one input number field, so we have to write. Input type is equal to number, with attribute name is equal to age, and id attribute is equal to age. Now we have goes to modal footer code, and here in button text, we have to write button value variable.
and here also we have to write on click attribute is equal to callback variable function so when we have click on this button then it will call this function now we have goes to HTML code part and here we have to create one division tag with ID attribute is equal to modal area so under this tag we will append bootstrap modal code so now we have goes to JavaScript code and here we have to write document dot query selector method and under this method we have to write division tag ID modal area with inner HTML property is equal to HTML variable so it will add bootstrap modal code on web page so now we can pop up bootstrap modal on web page so here we have to write user modal element variable is equal to new bootstrap dot modal method and under this method we have to write document dot get element by id method and under this we have to write bootstrap modal id user modal so this code will get the modal element now we want to pop up bootstrap modal on web page so here we have to write user modal element dot show method so it will pop up bootstrap modal on web page so here our make modal function is ready now we have goes to HTML code part and here we have to write on click attribute is equal to make modal function with three parameter in first parameter we have to write add user and in second parameter we have to write add and in third parameter we have to write insert data function name so when we have click on this button then it will call this make modal function now again we have goes to javascript code part and here we have to create insert data function now we have saved this code and goes to terminal and run node server dot js command which will start node server now here in browser we have to open base url of our node application so here on web page we can see one add button has been display on web page so we have click on this button so after click on this button here we can see that one modal dialog box has been pop up on web page with form for get user details now we want to submit this form data by using javascript fetch api so here we have goes to insert data function and under this function we have to write form element variable is equal to document dot get element by id method and under this we have to write form id user form below this we have to write constant form data variable is equal to new form data object with form element so this code will get form data by using form data object now we want to convert form data to json string so here we have to write constant json data variable is equal to blank object after this we have to write form data variable dot for each method with two parameter like value and key variable under this function we have to write json data variable with key index is equal to value variable so this code will convert form data variable data to json string and store under json data variable now we want to make post request using fetch api so here we have to write fetch method with two parameter in first parameter we have to write slash users and in second parameter we have to define different option 
So in first option, we have to write method key and in value, we have to write post. In second option, we have to write body key and in value, we have to write json.stringify method with json data variable. In third option, we have to write headers key and in value, we have to define json content type. So here, it will send post request to users route of this server.js file. Next, we have to write then method with one callback function with response variable. This function will receive data from server and under this function, we have to write return statement with response.json method so it will convert data into json format. After this, we have again write, then method, with callback function, with data variable as parameter. And under this method, we have to write, user model element dot hide method, so it will hide model dialog box from web page. So here, insert data function is ready, and this function will be called, when we will submit model form data. Now we have goes to server.js file, and here, we have to define schema, and model, for MongoDB database. So here, we have to write, constant user schema variable is equal to, new mongoose.schema method. And under this, we have to define schema, in key and value format. So in first key, we have to write, name, and in value, we have to write string. In second key, we have to write email, and in value, we have to write string. And in third key, we have to write age, and in value, we have to write number. So here we have defined schema, for create user table, in MongoDB database. Now we want to create model, for database operation. So here, we have to write, constant user variable is equal to mongoose.model method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write model name user. And in second parameter, we have to define schema name. So here, we have to write user schema variable. So here, our user model is ready for database operation. Now first we want to insert data. So here, we have to write app.post method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash users and in second parameter. We have to write asynchronous callback function with request and response variable as parameter. Under this function, we have to write constant user variable is equal to new user model. Under this model, we have to define data in key and value format. So in first key, we have to write name and in value, we have to write request.body.name. In second key, we have to write email and in value, we have to write request.body.email. In third key, we have to write age and in value, we have to write request.body.age. After define data in user model, now for insert data into user schema. So here we have to write constant new item variable is equal to await keyword with user.save method. So it will insert data into user schema. Now for send success status to client. So here we have to write response.status method with 201 code. And then after we have to write success key with true as value so it will send data to client. So it will insert data into user table and now for check output so we have goes to terminal. And here we have to run this command which will start node server. Now here in browser when we have open base URL of node application 
Then here on web page, we can see that one add button has been displayed. So we have click on this button. So after click on this button, here on web page, we can see that one modal dialog box has been pop up on web page. And under this, we can see that user form has been displayed. So we have one by one fill this form data. And after fill form data, now we have click on this add button. And after click on add button, here we can see that model has been removed from web page. That means data has been inserted into user schema. Now for see inserted data. So here we have go to MongoDB website, and here we can see browse collection on web page. So we have click on this link, and after click on this link. Here we can see that user schema has been created. And here we can see inserted data also, which we have inserted earlier. So this way we can insert data into MongoDB schema under this node application. In next part, we will learn how to fetch data from MongoDB schema and display on web page under this node crud application. So we will be meet in next part.